Yes, hello Kenyans. Welcome again to this channel. I want to say thank you so much because of your continuity to support this channel. There is a secret meeting that is being held among the members of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance to try to consult more about the candidature of an Waiguru. The aim of this meeting, or the main of this committee, is to try to consult if an Waiguru is a best candidate to be nominated as the deputy president in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. This is a process that started today, and not only Anu Waiguru being vetted, and of course they have said that these candidates that are going to be nominated as the deputy president, of course to deputize William Ruto, their profile must be well analyzed and known very well the way they have been uh, uh, having their political career for certain for how long they have been in leadership and of course Anwai Guru has been in leadership for some time since for the first time she was nominated nominated as cabinet secretary in Jubilee Party and currently is the current governor of uh, Kirinyaga County. What next if Anwaiguru is going to be proved or is going to be, she's going to be approved to be the candidate to deputize William Ruto when it comes to this August 9th election? There is one thing that he must do. An Waiguru must step down. Number two, after stepping down, who is going to take that mantle to vie for the gubernatorial race of Kirinyaga County? And that is the headache that Kenya Kwanzaa have now. But of course the candidate, it is possible to have a candidate in Kirinyaga County, but Anwai Guru was so much trusted with the ticket of UDA party in Kirinyaga race, and now that those who are proposing under some big percentage, proposing that Anwai Guru is fit to be the deputy and first female deputy president, of the Republic of Kenya with a ticket of William Ruto and Waiguru ticket to face off the Azimio Laumoja. If, yes, she's going to be approved, number one, she must step down for running for the gubernatorial race in Kirinyaga. And of course, this mantle must be passed to another aspirants or candidate that is going to deliver the seat to Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, which according to me, it is not possible to get that candidate that fit Anwai Guru the way she has been conducting his political uh, politics uh, his UDA politics in Kirinyaga County and so this is now making Kenya Kwanzaa to have a headache. But of course, when you see some forces uh, trying to push the candidature of Anwai Guru, Anwai Guru is fit for the seat. And of course, when it comes to her leadership, she fit the seat, but there are some questions that Kenyans are asking themselves. 
that myself I have also been asking. You mean there is no law that can buff a candidate? And of course I think there must be a law that must consult and must also investigate these candidates if they fit for this deputy or even for the presidential uh, race or presidential candidate. But the problem that we have in this Republic of Kenya, you will see a candidate or an, uh, an uh, aspirant being given a mantle or mandate to be an aspirant with a certain political party and of course again the citizens or the people are electing him or her. I think the rule that must be there is that they must analyze someone if you have involved yourself with any case or you have any case in a court of law you must finish these cases then you be cleared to, the, to vie for a certain seat. But for us, we as Kenyans, someone is still having cases, not even case. He or she is having cases, still is go she or he is going to be nominated or even elected with people when it comes to nomination of political parties to carry the mandate to lead uh, them. And then after that, the same same people that elected or nominated that person are the first people to complain that the leadership is not good, corruption is too much, and uh, misusing of the office. So I'm bringing this like uh, to to ensure that to put uh, Anwai Guru on uh, a hot seat, that if Waiguru is going to be nominated or Anwai Guru is going to be approved as the running mate of William Ruto, what are these repercussions that are waiting for Anwai Guru's candidature as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya? Number one, there are certain groups of forces that will come out that this group of William uh, Waiguru ticket is a ticket that is not genuine. Number one, because they have involved themselves with uh, corruption. And of course, the case of Anwai Guru has never been finalized in court of law. Because the other time, there is an evidence that court ruled out that Anwai Guru was to be charged because of corruption. Until date, there's nothing, an action that has been taken to ensure that Anwai Guru is charged and to ensure that he faces the full uh, force of law. The question that still remains, is it genuine to make Anwai Guru or nominate Anwai Guru to be William Samuruto's running mate, yet she is still facing a court of law? Is it, is it fair? Is it fair? And if it is okay that they settle on Anwai Guru, it is okay. So the only thing that Anwai Guru will do is to step down for the Kirinyaga gubernatorial race and submit or transfer that mantle to other candidate now to come and concentrate in the national politics and <laughs> and to ensure that he, she's going to help William Ruto, number one, to get votes from Mount Kenya region, because Mount Kenya region are claiming that the running mate must come from Mount Kenya region. And of course, if she's able to deliver the votes that are expected in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, then it is well and good. But the only thing that he will do, she will do is to ensure that she's going to deliver votes and the expectation the way Kenya Kwanza are expecting any candidate that is gonna be nominated to deputize William Ruto. So Kenyans, are you seeing that Anwai Guru is fit for deputizing William Ruto?
or is there any candidate that fit to deputize William Ruto? You can drop your comment, opinion, and reason at the comment section below. Otherwise, for those who are returning subscribers, thank you so much. God bless you. Continue liking, sharing, and commenting this video. For those who are visitors, ensure that to subscribe, you put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified autom automatically by YouTube. Of course, in this channel, we analyze pure politics, we give opinions and reasons. Thank you so much because of your love and support. Bye-bye till next time.